for joining us today. Your parents have some videos to watch this week to learn about Eastern, so we want to do some fun ones for you kids so that you can also learn about Easter. So we are going to be working our way through a dozen or 12 resurrection eggs. So our first one that we're going to crack open, come on Tucker. We're going to look at resurrection egg number one. What do you think? Any guesses what's inside? Shake it, Tucker. What do you think? Is it loud or soft? Loud or quiet? All right, open it up and tell us what's inside. Donkey. A donkey. Now, Father Wes is going to read us some scripture from Matthew. Matthew 21, 1 through 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, see your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowd answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. So our first, our egg number one reminds us that Jesus rode in on a donkey. We'll be back there. All right, thank you, Tucker. All right, Emma's going to do our egg number two. What do you think it is? Does it make any sound? No. No sound. Hmm. It smells good. It smells good? All right, crack it open and see what's inside. Cotton ball. A cotton ball, but so they can't smell at home. Does it, it smells like perfume? Yeah. It smells like perfume. Okay, Father West is going to read us some scriptures now. John chapter 12, verses 2 through 8. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put in it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. This is from Matthew 26, 17 through 19. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. Today we learned about Jesus riding in on a donkey, Jesus being anointed with perfume, and the Passover meal is remembered. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.